guys welcome back to my channel so today i have an exciting video for you guys i'm just gonna be doing a full face with all new products or products i haven't talked about on my youtube channel yet so this is the look that came up with look at that highlight um however i did film my room with a white light so it might look a little different but i wanted to show you guys how it looks in natural lighting so yeah guys want to see how i got this look please keep on watching we'll just jump right into it as you can see i already have my eyebrows on i really wanted to invest in some products so i can put in my kit so excited to try it out um i got these two items from beautylish and i've never even heard of this brand before it's a korean brand it's called vdl Lumin Lumilayer, Lumilayer Primer and Satin Veil Primer. So there's two. This one described for like more brightening and smoothing. And then this one's more of like long lasting. Kind of like that soft matte look. So I got drawn to this because it was a new release. And they also said like Korean glass skin. And you already know how, you know, we are with our skincare. So thought I would try out these two products. I haven't felt either one of them, but I want to say the Satin Veil, I'm just going to assume it kind of uh, feels like the Hourglass. Oh, or maybe not. So, I was going to say the Hourglass Mineral Veil, but that one's like a white cream. You can kind of feel it like a powdery finish. So, this one, it looks like it might be like a silicone, kind of almost like Smashbox, but I hope not because I kind of don't like that formula. I'm going to just see which one I want to use. So it comes out very clear, pretty runny. Okay, so it feels like mineral veil. It actually does. However, it kind of has like that silicone like first layer, but once you rub it in, it kind of like mats down to kind of the same as almost like that mineral veil from Hourglass. Not sure how comparable it is, but that one's like one of my favorite primers. So we'll see how that one works. This one, okay, so this one's in like a clear, it's almost like a cream white. Pump it down on the other side. This one isn't as runny, more of like a thicker consistency. Oh, and you can already see it like definitely does brighten. Like I can almost get like a pearly effect from it so i can see it definitely being brightening for the skin you can kind of already see like that cast i'm really excited to, um, to try out the silk one so i'm going to try that one today i guess i'm going to just put this all over my face Yeah, it's crazy because it kind of has like the initial feeling it does feel like more like a silicone based primer but it's not like that pilling feeling that you get from like most like like smashbox or something and the finish is really nice and soft feels like it'd be kind of like a velvety finish okay so that's that one the next thing i got is this palette from rcma so I got this because like I wanted something for my kit. So this is the Vincent, don't want to say his last name, palette, VK number 11. So this is nice because it has like all pretty much like neutral tones to there. Neutral, very yellow undertone palette. So I thought this would be good for mixing. I'm just gonna, that one's too dark. Ooh, this one's almost perfect. I think I'm gonna mix these two to kind of match myself yeah so i'm taking uh sh1 and sh2 i actually got um foundation brush i actually wanted to try it out it's from makeup forever we got it in a gratis because he won for a contest so I got these two brushes. This is our signature um, 108 straight flat, you know, brush. No one really uses these anymore, but thought I'd just try it out to see. I want to say because this is more like a creamy formula, I probably need like a beauty blender. Because right now this is giving me some pretty sheer 
coverage. This doesn't give much texture though. Like it looks really smooth. I'm gonna try going in a little bit more. And cover like the main areas of my face. are definitely buildable it's like pure pigment so it says like supposed to have no flashback they're vegan cruelty free and I they also have their own website RCMA but I got this also off Beautylish because they had it on that website so now I'm gonna just go in with a concealer so I have a couple new concealers, but I'm going to go in with the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. This is shade light medium neutral. This is a little light for me. I'm like not that big of a fan of this because of the tackiness. Like I don't like how creamy it is, but I'm going to just still try it out again. See how it is for like highlighting. And how it will look, you know, with the RCMA foundation. Beauty Blender spritz a little bit of Smashbox primer water because I don't feel like going to the bathroom. Like, is anyone else like that? Like, they just almost use their Beauty Blender try because they're too lazy. Take a little bit onto the lids. Honestly, skin looks pretty good. And I'm not sure how it's looking on camera. I feel like in camera I look a little white, but I also am using a white light, so that could be why. The Anastasia Cream Contour Palette. I've been loving just comboing um, my contour. Like I like doing a cream first and then going in with a powder to set that. So just doing a very subtle contour for now. So I got the RCMA No Color powder it's like their most popular translucent powder i'm gonna try i'm gonna undo some baking and see it's gonna work out well so this bake feels really tight i can feel it already in my face i'm just gonna take um a loose powder brush and just powder the rest of my face with this i'm actually just gonna go into Laura actually it's Laura mercier um glow powder brush but I'm just going to use this right now I'm going to go in with the Desi and Katie collab with those colors in the Frankation palette guys I've been honestly using this palette like every single day for my makeup looks just because it's just like you know one of your new palettes and I love to love love having them so I'm just gonna do something a bit just like a little natural today oh I'm gonna zoom you guys up okay so I'm just gonna go in with like the lightest shade and set that concealer that I put on earlier Whoa, my lids are pretty creasing with that concealer. I need to be like careful of the recording. I need like to invest in a new camera. That's what I have to do. Okay. And that I'm just going to go in with this Morphe R37 brush. I'm going to just go in with 
these two colors over here for like a nice transition to build up the crease. Lid color, what do I want to do today? I'm gonna go in with I'm gonna just do dirty money. I love this color. It's like literally just like it is dirty money. Don't know how else to describe it. I'm gonna fix a little setting spray on there. Kind of pack this all over the lid. Very pretty. I'm just gonna go in with Morphe M433 brush. There we go. I'm just gonna go in with the darkest color right here. Kind of blend those colors in. To get like a nice smoky blended eye. And with like a clean fluffy brush kind of go the outer edges so now I'm just going to go with my finger and just a kiss it's a nice champagne color it's kind of hit the center the lid yeah now I'm just going to take the bake off That made my under eyes really bright. It also like made this little section over here. It's not good. And with a little bit of my RCMA. I know you shouldn't be putting powder on top, but this is an emergency. I'm gonna go back in with that concealer. Put a little on my hand. And I'm just gonna take like a small, precise concealer brush. This is from Morphe. I'm gonna clean up the edge. We are looking clean. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to just go to the rest of the contouring of my face. Um, I don't have any really new contour products. I'm just going to be using Anastasia. Going with like a smaller contour brush. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with like a small brush like this. It's also from Morphe. As you can tell, I love my Morphe brushes. So affordable, they're actually at Ulta now. Just take a little on here, kind of go straight down my nose. Just blend it up. There we go. So now I'm gonna go in with this bronzer. Got this from MAC. It's MAC Give Me Sun Bronzer. It's a mineralized skin finish. So I'm just gonna take this with a large powder brush. It's also from Morphe. It's a Morphe M527. I'm just gonna take a 
can do some bronze and on my face. This look calls for bronze. Okay. Now I'm actually going to go in with a blush. This is the Tarte um, 24 hour blush in exposed. Take a little powder brush. Got my cheekbones over here. Pull back and up. I'm going to kind of take it to my nose a little bit. Kind of feel like that sun kissed look for whatever was like remaining on my brush. Then do it more. The apples pull back. Then I'm gonna take a little diffusing brush and kind of blend out the edges here. Now I'm gonna go in with Fenty um, Fly Liner in Cousin Black. This is my favorite eyeliner. Like legit, it's so easy to do a cat eye with. So now I'm going to go in with Urban Decay 24-7 uh, Glide Eyeliner in Roach. I just got this. This was one of my OGs when I was like in high school. But I just stopped using it. I'm going to kind of put this all over. Lash line. But kind of like do a lot so it's a little smoked out. And then I'm going to go and do my lashes off camera. Be right back. We have these lashes on. So these are the... Um, Coco Lashes and Goddess. These are one of my favorite, favorite go-to lashes. So just to um, finish the eyes, I'm going to just take a small brush and kind of put that dirty money under the crease, under the crease on the lower lash line. Smoke it up. Inner corner highlight with just a kiss. Okay. So now, highlighting. Um, I've been loving, this is from Wet n Wild. Okay guys, this is their gold bar in Holly Goldhead. I think I showed you guys in my vlog, but gonna show you guys again in case you didn't see that video oh it's so good like that is amazing so so good obsessed sorry for rushing guys my battery is about to go out and I need to finish this boom and then I like to take a smaller brush for the nose and then if I want to go like a little crazy, I'll take that same brush and kind of layer it. But we're not going to do that today. So this is the um, Morphe Y17 brush. Put a little center on the forehead. Very loosely. Beautiful. Last steps, lips. So I'm gonna just go in with like my trusty lip liner. This is from MAC Spice. Gonna do a little overlining action here. I just have to blend my lip liner. Like, try to blend it as much as I can. I feel like it just looks a bit more natural and pouty. And I'm gonna just take, oops, the Dose of Colors gloss in over the top. I just got this. It's really, really pretty. Such a pretty color. So yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of setting spray. This is the Fresh Vitamin Nectar. It's like a glow spray, but I kind of like it if I want to look a little dewy.
always remember to fan. Okay, so I actually straightened my hair. And after, I was like not really feeling, because my camera died, um, that berry lip. So I put um, MAC Naturally Transformed. It's a nice nude beige color on top. So everything is just a bit more, you know, kind of flows. So yeah, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I am so close to 1,000 subscribers, and once I do, I'll be doing a giveaway. So, yeah, let's hope we can get to 1,000. I have like 20 more left, so that's exciting. So, yeah, um, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!